So the War Thunder dev server for Firebirds has opened. If you're on the Gaijin launcher, you can go over to this little toolbox looking icon, and then you're gonna look at the drop down that says production. And then of course you're gonna click on the drop down and then click dev. You're gonna get this pop up, just click okay, and then you're gonna start downloading the dev server. If you don't have that drop down option, the production tab, you have to look it up online and you have to get the browser from Gaijin. You can find all the instructions you need in this dev blog. If you're on the Steam version of War Thunder, there is a way to get the dev server, but I'm not really sure how to do it. And for those console players, you cannot do this on console. Now there's a lot of common misconceptions about the dev server and I'm gonna go through them. First off, what you do in the dev server has no effect on the live servers. So any vehicles you grind, any SL you get, or any GE you spend on the dev server will not translate over to the live server. And no, this is not the final product. This is the dev server where they're gonna be testing a lot of different things. So every day there'll be something new or something fixed. If you did pre-order that Russian vehicle that's coming in the major update, you should be able to test it in the dev server. Finally, there's probably gonna be a lot of people trying to get in this dev server. So expect some issues with the servers. 